Hey, welcome back. Man, I'm running behind. I was so excited. I was typing up my notes. Typing up my notes. Okay, so let's talk today about who's pumping your tire. Okay? Got my little my auto mechanic shirt on here. Who's pumping your tire? <laughs> Gross. That's the dog toy. <laughs> So, if you have a flat tire, what do you do? Do you call someone to help out, like AAA? Maybe your mom, dad, friends, right? You're like, hey, I'm broke down. I got a flat tire. Or, let's say this is equivalent to your life. So, this is so frustrating, right? Like, what if you had a flat tire every single day? Like, you get your tire pumped up, and then you find out that it's flat again. Hey, Susie, buddy. Uh, what if you are, you keep calling AAA every day, right? And now, they are a frequent visitor to your car and know you by name. Maybe your parents and friends don't want to answer your calls anymore because they already know that you have a flat tire, right? Because you've called every single day. What can we do about this? Okay, if this is equivalent to your life, what can we do about this? A few things. How about change it yourself? Right? Figure it out. Figure out how to change a tire or go on an even deeper level a little deeper dive and figure out why the tire keeps going flat. So one time I worked with this girl, she didn't like me. You know, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I don't know why. <laughs> Some people just don't like wide open. <laughs> so I worked with this girl and uh, eventually over the span of about six months, I had nine tire, nine nails in my tire. Nine. Never had a nail in my tire in my life. So, uh, I kept going to Ronnie Jones's house, which is my dad, and he loves plugging tires, so I let him, he did plug it. Um, of course, he was sick of it. He kept telling me if I was just excited to see him to stop putting nails in the tire, like just come and visit. <laughs> so, if you do get a nail in your tire, you can give that, give that guy a call. He'll help you out, but... He'll slap that beef jerky right up in that hole, get you back on the road and get going. So, isn't that what it is? It's like a little piece of, like, beef jerky or Slim Jim. You put it, anyways, anyways, if you know what I'm talking about, it's funny. <laughs> uh, so, uh, nine nails in my tires. Finally, I had to figure out, I had to, like, look at the situation. I can't put cameras out by my car. I can't confront her because I really didn't know if she was doing it. It was obvious, you know, but I can't just go on my gut feeling. And um, so I made amends with her, and it stopped. Okay, that's awesome because I now figured out the root cause, right? Another time I had a flat, I changed it, took it in. Guy couldn't figure it out. He brings the tire and the rim out to me. And says he has no idea why it's flat. Well, when he was showing me the tire, right? He's showing me, like, here's your tire. <laughs> the dog toy. My tire was bigger than this. <laughs> but he shows me the tire, and he's like, look, I can't figure out why this is flat. Well, when he was showing me the way that the light hit it, the rim was totally cracked. And I said, oh, it's probably because the rim is cracked right there. And which meant I hit a curb and sh don't tell Josh. Shut your mouth. <laughs> so uh, I blasted in the curb, cracked the rim, actually like two or three times, but it's okay. Um, so take a look at it. <laughs> so take a look, look at your life. Um, take a look at your tires as your life, right? If you keep calling on someone to come and fix everything for you, do you really have a perspective of how long something takes? Do you know how long it takes to change a tire? No, because you walked off and left them with it. How much effort is put into that? Now you'll know if you do it. So when you change that tire yourself, you're going to feel empowered. 
You'll feel empowered when taking your life into your own greasy, dirty, little tire changing hands. And if you don't know how to change a tire, just ask or find a video. You know, YouTube is the university now, right? <laughs> Shoot, it comes in the manual in the back of the car, in the car. So um, this is equivalent to your happiness as well. So if you aren't happy and others are always pumping up your tire or changing your tire for you, it's hard to keep it inflated, right? Especially if you have a slow leak in it, which that would equal like your depression, anxiety, you know, just life that you're stressed out. So find the root of the issue. Plug it, fix it, change your mindset, change your happiness level, change what you're attracted to, okay, and what you're, what you're attracting. So if you keep complaining about your tire being flat all the time, more flats are going to happen. I can promise that. If you talk about how awesome and amazing your life is and like this new set of wheels you have, <laughs> more of that will come. So my message today is to go out there. Be a magnet of happiness and awesomeness and not a magnet of bad juju and flat tires, okay? My glasses are on only for, like, the effect because it matches my shirt. So I was excited about that. So, no, I'm not trying to hide anything. I don't look shady. Got my, my lid wigs on and my, my tattoo over there. Everything's fine. <laughs> so go out there. Make sure you keep your tire pumped and have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Put so much energy air into your tire. <laughs> and shut your mouth about that hitting the curb. You shut your mouth. Okay, see ya. <laughs>